Hey, how's it going? Hope all is fantastic. Today we're gonna to talk about some interesting science discoveries that may seem impossible, but now it has come to fruition. Let's begin. Teleportation is one fascinating implement in science fiction. Humanity has been searching for a method of true teleportation for a long time, but it has also felt like asking too much of science. And then the science went ahead and proved it was possible. We've explained this phenomenon of quantum entanglement before. Researchers from the University of Technology were able to teleport information across a room and prove the quantum entanglement theory in practice without a telephone. They isolated a pair of electrons and two diamonds at a distance from each other. According to the entanglement theory, changes to the spin in one have been resulted in the second one changing its spin accordingly. That is exactly what happened. A change in one diamond affected the other over a distance of 32 feet. The experiment worked 100% of the time. Researchers are now working on increasing the distance, which still work if the theory is correct. If experiments over a larger span distance are successful, we will very soon be able to securely teleport information through quantum particles without any vulnerable paths in between. Exciting. Another interesting one is not light, not. According to everything we know, light is supposed to move in straight lines. Apparently someone wanted to change that for some reason. Scientists from the University of Bristol and Southampton were the first ones to tie light into knots, something that were only thought of as abstract mathematical concepts before. These knots were created using holograms, which directed the flow of light around areas of darkness using knot theory, a branch of math inspired by knots in real life, you know, like ears and crossing the bow. One of the researchers explain light as a river that can go straight as well as whirlpools. The holograms were especially constructed and controlled by computers. Apparently you can also bend your own light beam into a knot if you have their hologram. Neat. 4D printing is another one. There's still some time before everyone starts using 3D technology even though it's a lot access today, but science fixes their eyes already on the next step which is 4D printing. While it may sound too complex for most of us, the 4D is in its time, which means that the next generation of printers won't just be able to print anything you want, but the printed objects will also be able to change and adapt on its own. The researchers have already unveiled a 4D printer capable of producing strands of material that can fold themselves into simple objects and shapes, like a cube. It may, not, it may not sound like much, but it has the potential to change science forever. We will soon be able to manufacture machines that can reach incapable areas, deep wells, for example, to carry out maintenance. Medical operations could be also carried out by machine made of these materials. These, machine, these machines are essential robots that are printed rather than manufactured. Water pipes would be able to sense when an overflow was about to occur as well. Since 4D printer essentially enables us to make materials that can transform themselves like a robot. In other ways, making the possibilities endless. It's safe to say that it is going to take some time to move on the printing to bigger objects and involve themselves into complex shapes, like humans or whatever. Black holes have been a fascination for a long time out in the galaxies in the universe, but it has never been possible to create one. At least not until researchers from Southeast University of China figured out a way to approximately mimic a black hole in a lab. They created a circuit used to change the passage of electromagnetic waves. It is similar to the material used to attain invisibility, but instead of altering light, the setup is done with microwaves not your typical kitchen microwave. These metamaterials observe electronic radiation and convert it to heat in a manner similar to a black hole. This has been a number of useful applications, particularly in energy production. One of the things science needs to figure out now is how to replicate the success using light, because the wavelength of light is much smaller than the use of a microwave. Nonetheless, this is the first time a black hole has been emulated in controlled conditions. It may only be a matter of time before black holes are part of the day-to-day -day lives, where we can go in and out without using cars. Fun. Stopping light in its tracks is another thing that has been 
found out recently. Einstein was the first one to realize that nothing can go faster than the speed of light. But it didn't really say anything about making it go really slow. In an experiment conducted at Harvard University, they were able to slow down light to about 12 miles an hour. As if that wasn't enough, they went ahead to bring it to a complete stop. The scientists used a supercooled material known as the Bose-Einstein condensation to achieve this. The condensate is produced at temperatures of just some billionth of the degree hotter than absolute zero, so that atoms have the least amount of energy to function. Keep in mind that absolute zero is an abstract concept that can't actually be reached. This is probably the closest we've ever come to it. While scientists have previously slowed light down to 38 miles an hour, this was the first time it was brought to a complete halt. The light particle even left a hologram where it had stopped. For once, making like stable matter instead of the traveling wave that it usually is. Because it's more constant in the form, because it is more constant in that form, the halted particle of light can even put it on a shelf, for example. What's more now that people have proven that light has been stopped, even working on reversing it is the new direction. <clears throat> Antimatter was created in a lab as well. Good job, labs. Antimatter is possibly the answer to all of our future energy needs. Yet for the efforts, scientists have not been able to find as much of it in the universe as matter, which happens to be a big mystery in itself. While this particle mystery may be getting solved for a while, scientists have been able to successfully create and keep antimatter in a lab. A super team of scientists from different countries, known as Alpha, but previously discovered a method of keeping antimatter of, for a fraction of a second. Even though its production has been around for about a decade now, trapping antimatter has always been proven to be impossible. Since everything we know is made of matter, and antimatter just sort of burns up as soon as it is conducted. Now scientists from CERN have found a way to store antimatter for a long period of time inside a strong magnetic field. But one of the problems is that this field interferes with measurements and doesn't let us study the antimatter properly. Those bastards. Nonetheless, it won't be wrong to assume that matter and antimatter reactor may possibly our backup once for the world runs out of natural fuel, those poor fossil dinosaurs. Next one is telepathy. We have previously shown you now have science has found a way to connect a human brain to that of a rat and remotely connect it to move its tail. While that has been no ordinary feat, it seems science has now one-upped itself. Good job. In an experiment conducted by a scientist of Duke University, with the help of other scientists from the International Institute of Neuroscience of NATO Brazil, two rats thousands of miles apart were made to telepathically communicate with each other, probably about cheese, paving the way for a similar technology for humans in the near future. The rats were connected via brain implants, and one of them was made to choose one of two lovers, depending on which color light bulb was lit. The other rat couldn't see the bulb, but pressed the right lever nonetheless, acting on electronic pulses from the brain of the other rat. The follower rat didn't really know that it was acting on another rat's brain emotions, only that it got rewarded for doing so. The scientists believe not only can this experiment be replicated with humans, but that we also be able to interpret the signals more efficiently. They sound confident that a, t they sound confident that a human scale telepathy mechanism won't be too difficult to create. To achieve this and commands the senses like vision and touch could also be transformed to other humans or machines. Another fascinating factor, crossing the speed of light. It is seemingly well known fact that speed of light cannot be breached in our universe, but that has been outright proven wrong by researchers from NEC Research Institute in Princeton University. They passed the laser beam through a chamber of specially preserved gas and cloaked time itself. As it turned out, the beam was observed to be 300 times faster than the speed of light. Incredible. The beam exited the chamber before it had entered it which appears to violate all laws of the cause and effects from Einstein. It is like seeing the TV turn on before the press the switch on your remote. But then again, as researchers explain, the law is not technically being broken, as the meme of the future has no means to affect the conditions in the past, which proves that Einstein wasn't wrong after all. Wrong or not, the experiment still managed to prove that the light speed barrier can in fact be broken and the effect can proceed cause. Cool. Another interesting one is time cloaking makes invisibility possible. We have previously talked about how far science has come in the past and the quest for discovering true invisibility, but as if that wasn't enough, science has already taken the next leap and figured out how to hide things from time itself. Researchers from Cornell University have made a device which split a light beam into two components, 
transporting it through medium and put it back together at the other end with the help of time lenses without any record of that happened in the duration that it was missing. The lens slows down the faster part of the beam and speeds up the slower one as well, creating a temporary vacuum in which time that hides during the event during this transmission is invisible. So where would we have gotten a combined wave full of interference? This device skips whatever happens on the way then hides it from one time itself. As of now, the event can only be hidden for an extremely short interval, but it's only a matter of time before something figures out how to do a long period of time. Temporal cloaking has been useful application in a lot of fields primarily in secure data transfer itself. Of course, multiverse theory. We have countless theories on how particles on the quantum levels do the impossible, like Marvel. But it wasn't until scientists at Santa Barbara University made a actual quantum machine that was able to witness this in real world. The scientists cooled a really tiny piece of metal to the lowest temperature it could possibly go. Grounded state is what it's called. When they applied it to the quantum circuit and plucked it like a string, what they noticed was when it moved, it didn't move at the same time, which was only theoretically possible until that point. If it doesn't sound amazing, just think of an experiment where you're relaxing at home watching Netflix, and then another portion of you is actually backpacking in Europe. That is basically what this theory or what they did, which is neat. Who wouldn't want to watch some squid game while you're also backpacking in France. Science Magazine called it the most important scientific advancement of 2010. Some people even went to quote the experiment as proof of multiverses. But the community is divided on whether that leap could be made, since we are still some way of replicating the results on a larger scale, of course. Still, the discovery proves that quantum science works, and that maybe, just maybe, we'll be hopping between two time frames in the universes in one point in time, which would be quite exciting and exhilarating. What's your favorite science experiment that has been made possible lately? I always liked flight, which is not a recent one, but it's quite exhilarating and quite fun. Anyway, thanks for the likes, thanks for the subscribes, thanks for watching. Have a great one. Bye.